How's it going everyone? Welcome back to Dip Discovery. Today I'm doing an unboxing and review of the new Enter Oniros, uh, Oniros, is that right? Yep, new Enter Oniros uh, hybrid uh, sprung mattress, um, which you can pick up from Amazon for around 200 to 350 pounds, depending on which size you go for. So let's uh, unbox the thing. We're gonna have to put it up on the uh, bed and let it, um, you know, inflate, uh, fill up with air for a good few hours. So let's see how we get on. All right, so the box has come and it's a little bit battered, but and it looks like they've kind of pieced it together with a bit of tape. But hopefully, uh, not the mattress itself won't be damaged. Um, it does actually have some um, uh, how to actually unbox the thing and what you need to do to first set it up written on the sides here, the instructions. But it's actually covered up with the tape, so I can't actually see them. But it pretty, I'll look on their website, and basically, what you have to do is unwrap the thing, roll it out. Um, and then um, put it out onto your bed and you have to or on the floor or wherever your flat surface and you need it's, they say you need to leave it for 72 hours before it, it got its perfect shape um, from the uh, where it should be um, but you know like other kind of uh, rolled up mattresses you could probably be all right sleeping on it after about six or seven hours of it being inflated so it's best to do it in the morning then leave it to the night and then you can uh, sleep on it then so Let's uh, get the thing open and you have to be careful if you're using something sharp to unwrap it to make sure you don't um, tear the mattress as well. So I do recommend unboxing this thing with two people because it'll make everything a lot easier but my wife didn't want to help me. So anyway, when you open up the thing, you actually get a safety kind of knife in there to help you open up the uh, the plastic wrap so you don't damage anything so that's just good that it's come with that so uh, you know make sure you look out for that in the box so I'll probably say be careful using this thing that they provide because mine's actually snapped while uh, uh, slicing it so be, be careful with that thing. Going back to using scissors now. All right, so I've got the mattress finally unwrapped and it's rolled out onto the bed now. Um, now with these kind of uh, mattresses in a box, um, they do, there does tend to be a bit of a chemical smell. Uh, that comes from the mattress from when it's been produced and vacuum packed and um, this has it does have one um, but it's not mega strong to be honest I've I've had mattresses before where it was even stronger so um, I'm not really too worried about it if you open up your windows it'll probably be gone um, you know by the time you want to go to sleep or within a week you know to let it air out but now I'm just gonna leave it now for about you know until I need to go to bed basically so about 10 hours later and then I can actually give it a give a sleep on it and then um, I'll give you an update then and what it's like after 72 hours when it has been fully uh, risen up um, if you want to see uh, if it's the right way up on the side there it's got the new enter logo um, and obviously if that's the right way up um, the, you know facing the right way up so it's readable then you know the mattress is the right way up all right everyone so it's been about eight hours now and the bed has kind of got most of its shape there and I obviously it does recommend 72 hours but obviously if you want to sleep on it the same day you get it then you know if you do it in the morning eight hours will give it kind of like this so this is how much it expanded in that kind of time frame I'm going to sleep on it tonight and then come back uh, uh, after uh, uh, give you an update after a, a couple more uh, nights once it has been 72 hours to see if it feels any different but this is the kind of shape you get it looks pretty much full um, First impressions are when you do lie on the thing, um, depending on where you sit or where you plonk yourself um, will give you a different kind of support depending on what part of the mattress you're in. Because the thing is with this mattress is it's got seven different zones of uh, firmness depending on where you are because the spring, spring tension and the uh, memory foam layers are, are, are different in each zone. So what you find is um, at the 
uh, top here where your head goes um, is probably to a soft to medium and then you've got more of a uh, medium in the middle um, and then it's firmest right bang in the center that's where it di dips the least because the idea is when you're actually lying down on it like that your center of your body is in the middle of the mattress and where the mo most of the weight is and obviously your head's a bit lighter than your legs obviously so the the firmness changes so yeah the um, the center is the firmest and then it gradually goes uh, lighter in uh, in terms of firmness it goes softer sorry and um, the further down the mattress you go now one thing is it is um, overall I would say it is a soft to medium mattress you know probably a bit more medium than soft but if you're looking for that firm kind of feel I don't think you're gonna get that with this one personally um, especially if you're the kind of person that sits on the end of the bed you can see how much I kind of sink in there and maybe you want to put some socks on or whatever you will kind of sink in to the mattress because this is at the end here this is where the uh, softest part of the springs are um, whereas in the middle it's not as bad now when you do lie on it you definitely do feel uh, a bit of the memory foam as you initially kind of touch down on it um, but you definitely also feel those springs pushing you back up so um, you know they do say it is a hybrid obviously that's what it is but the springs here you can definitely feel not so much to feel the actual shape of the springs but you can feel them kind of pushing you back because you do kind of uh, bounce up and down as you go down on it the fabric itself feels really nice though um, feels like a nice quality fabric the smell is pretty much hardly even here I can't really smell it obviously there's a hint of a brand new uh, product here but you know it's nothing too unnerving it doesn't smell too bad so i know anyone who's worried about the smell uh, chemical smell of a, a match in a box you won't have to worry about that with this one now lying on it obviously depends on your weight as well you know different people weigh different amounts um i weigh about 69 68 kilos and it's holding me really nicely but again depends on where you are sat on the thing or lying down because you know in the middle you can sit up like that and I'm hardly sinking at all because the middle is where the strength is, the firmness. But then if I move myself back here, um, then I'm definitely sinking down a lot more. So if you're the kind of person that, for example, you want to get a pillow, you know, put it on the back there and then sit up like this to either watch TV or read a book, then you might find that this bit is very soft. So you might like that, but you're going to sink down a lot more. Um, you know, uh, but you might like it how, how it kind of wraps around you, kind of bone the memory foam. So I'm going to give you a close up of when I push down on the memory foam, and you can see what that bit looks like. Okay, so here we are, and this is the actual memory foam itself. So as you can see, as I do push down with my hand there, you can kind of see a slight handprint um, of where my fingers were of the memory foam coming back. Now the memory foam layers on this particular one, they're not huge as some other ones are, which does actually mean it's going to be a bit more of a cooler mattress. So if you do find that you've with a memory foam mattress that you tried before, because they've got a really thick layer of memory foam that it retains heat quite a lot. I doubt you'll have that problem with this one because this one's got quite a breathable fabric on it. Um, and the memory foam layer isn't quite as thick. It's depending on uh, the, the larger springs as well. Uh, than this one but if you do like the kind of the the initial kind of cradling that the memory foam does give you that's what you get with uh, this one in particular so let's have a look at the side view okay so this is the actual side of the bed here so this is what i'm going to show you of how much the sinkage is so this is pretty much the middle of the bed here and you can see how much it kind of sinks down as i put my weight on it there um, and then if I'm kind of lying down on the middle here on the edge you kind of get an idea of how much it is sinking you know it, it does kind of support you quite well you can't feel any of the springs obviously you're only going to bottom out on this when you if you if you like jumping up and down on it but obviously that's not advice anyway but realistically you're not going to sleep on the edge of the bed like this anyway you're going to move yourself a bit further back and you're going to sleep about there um you know um and you don't really get a, a a drop off from the other side of the bed if you are sharing the bed with a partner as well all right so i need to get this uh, mattress ready for bed now um and i'll give you an update in a couple of days after i've slept in it and see what i think
Okay guys, so I've been sleeping on the Nuento mattress for about three to four nights now. Um, so uh, this is pretty much what I found. For starters, they do rate this mattress, as I said before, as a soft to medium mattress. So um, you need to bear that in mind when you are sleeping on this kind of thing. I personally am more used to firm mattresses and that's just what I prefer, but some people prefer the soft medium ones. But because of those zones in there, the kind of uh, the softness and the firmness does change on which kind of area you are kind of sleeping uh, in. So what I found was when you're in the middle of the, the mattress, it did feel uh, quite supportive and quite firm as well. But what you do kind of find is where your feet are, it's a lot lighter and where your head are is a lot lighter as well, a bit softer. And your, your head kind of sinks into the mattress a bit more. Now, if you are a front sleeper, I found it was a lot nicer sleeping on this if you're a front sleeper than, than on a firm mattress because say for example um, if you're a woman or you've got a, a bit of a belly on you and you're sleeping on your you know your front because it's softer your uh, the firmness isn't kind of pushing against your you know your belly as much and um, the soft the softer the mattress kind of uh, gives way to your body uh, more than what a firm mattress would do so I found that having the softer zone here at the top if you're on a front sleeping, uh, then it's not pushing uh, against your body so much and it's actually more comfortable there. However, um, I found that maybe on your uh, your backside, the firm, if you're sleeping on your back, then the, the firmness for me was a, a bit nicer to be on than, than a softer one. So I think it's an ideal mattress for a, a front sleeper than maybe a, a back uh, a sleeper. However, the side sleeping was fine. Um, the uh, only other thing that I thought was when you do, because it was quite soft on the edges of the mattress, when you do get kind of, say you're sleeping and you do kind of roll to the uh, edge of the mattress, you you do find sometimes that it, it feels as much as though you're going to roll off because the actual firmness isn't in the edges of the mattress. You know, you have to go towards the center for that. So it kind of gives way to you quite easily and you could quite fi you find yourself rolling off quite easily as well. And being uh, quite a softer mattress, if you and your other half are sharing the bed and you both kind of, uh, you know, uh, go into the middle a bit, the, the middle kind of sinks a lot more than it would on a firmer mattress as well, because obviously it kind of goes a bit like that because it's softer, it hasn't got that kind of strength to kind of push you both away at the same time. But if you're keeping on your, your sides, each other's sides, then, you know, it's not really that big of a deal. Um, so that's pretty much it really, ideal for front sleepers, um, it, it, for the price again, you know the link's in the description to take you through to the link where to buy it from, but for the price it's actually re really quite good for a, a, a memory foam hybrid mattress because they can go up to about you know, £700, this one starts at around £200, so um, quite good value really, um, but we found the temperature on it was fine, it wasn't too hot and there's no smell in it whatsoever as well, it's all completely gone now. So I hope you enjoyed my uh, uh, unboxing and review of the new Enter mattress. If you've got any questions, give us a shout. Please don't forget to subscribe as well. It really helps me out. And catch you on the next one.